Greetings, Ono. The way you are panting, yeah, it shows you run down to this place. And the audience in your call. What is the matter? His Majesty said you should come with me immediately. Come with you? Yes. Is there any problem in the palace? I can't say Ono. I can't. Okay. Tell him I'll be there soon. No, he said he should come with me right away, immediately. Really? Yes. And you say there's no problem in the palace? I wouldn't know. Okay. Let me get ready. I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, Chi, why will it be you that will wake the neighbors with your song every morning? Eh? Or are you the only maiden that can sing in this village? No. Who one is complaining? Besides, they all enjoy my song and wish I should be singing for them. Not when it's your song that wakes them from early morning sleep. Eh? And you are supposed to have been in the stream by now. That's what young girls of your age do first thing in the morning. I don't want to say that This is not my water pot. I'm waiting for my friends. Your Majesty, your call this morning came with such an urgency that could set even the heart of a leopard pounding. What troubles the heart of my king? Hmm. Issues of the mind, Onobu. Like you rightly said, the leopard is truly trembling. You were my father's advisor, and now mine. How much do you know about dreams? As much as the gods can reveal to the mortal mind like me. But, Your Majesty, your question puts me on the edge. I had a terrible nightmare that stole sleep from my eyes since midnight. I wish the gods would be gracious enough to illuminate your heart with the meaning. Can Your Majesty Tell me this dream. A crocodile was pursuing me in my dreams. It was chasing me all over. At the point I thought I'd escaped it, I saw it right in front of me. When I turned around to make another route, there it was again. Chasing me all over. When I got weak and was losing all of my strength, a huge python appeared and swallowed me. Your Majesty. A python? Yes, Lou. Swallowed you?
Ne mama. The pride of the mother. Oma le cham. Le num. How do I look? Beautiful, my daughter. Mangi kanje mono. Hmm. You are the inevitable queen of the land. Oh. Hmm. You look beautiful, my princess. Go and flaunt your beauty before you betrothed the king and let his head jingle in admiration and longing for his bride. Ne mama. Ago wanyi. Ne mje mono. Oh! Achalu go wanyi. Oh! Omal chan ne mi. Dalu. You welcome my love. My sweet mother. You are my mentor and heroine. <laughs> Let me go and put a smile on the face of whom I cherish the most. Go, the daughter of the great Agui. But remember that your domain is above and not beneath. Go, the joy of my heart. Go and take that which belongs to you. <laughs> my sweet mother, I am going. <laughs> Greetings, my lion. What ails the king? that the splendor of the sun could not brighten his countenance. Can the royal bride share of her lord's grief? Adure, my love. The day is too tender for revelry. I have a burden in my heart that must be laid off before I can be eulogized. Unearth your burden to me, my love, and see if the fragrance of beauty and love will not melt it like a wax. I, Adure, should be your burden sharer, your source of inspiration. Adure, silence they say is noble. And in silence I find succor at this moment. Does my presence not matter to you anymore, my king? Greetings, my king. Welcome. She who is gifted by the gods to soothe alien souls, sing and dance for me. So my burden can roll away. Onye na chokwi gwe moku Onye na basui gwe miwe Igwani biko bara Igwani biko bara Ndi na china yogi Ndi na chine togi Ndi na chisogaga Ndi na chisigi gaba Onye na basi gwe miwe, onye na chokwi gwe moku, ezi gwe biko bara, ezi gwe bika ina yogi, oboda nyisiri gigaba, oboda nyisiri gadiriri, ocheze gigadiri ebi ebi. Iguanyo, 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 Iguanyo niga diriri, Iguanyo niga chiriri, Iguanyo chibanyo, Iguanyo dubanyo, Iguanyo anisaga, Iguanyo anidiyeku, Iguanyo anidiyaba. Iguanyo, 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 Iguanyo. Ocheze gigadi rebi ebi. Iguanyo, Iguanyo. Greetings, Your Majesty. Ah, Idika. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. My king has a visitor. I think I should be leaving. You have really rejuvenated my soul. Wait, not that Idika is a good friend of mine. I would have asked you to tally a little. But it's okay, you can go. The chief guard will take care of you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Idika, my friend. 
What brings you to my palace at this time? Because I know you are not in the habit of frequenting the palace. Um, frequenting the palace doesn't tell well of a hunter who dwells more in the forest to make ends meet, Your Majesty. So what chases the mouse out of its hole? Your Majesty, I hunted an uncommon animal and failed it to make a delicious delicacy. For the king, my good friend. Wow. That is actually what I brought. That's very thoughtful of you. You are a friend indeed. So what uncommon animal is this you have hunted that you want me to taste? Because I would like to see it before the palace cook takes care of it. Um, Your Majesty, I brought Iguana, the monitor lizard. What? Iguana! Take it away! Out! Your Majesty, I said I brought Iguana, a monitor lizard. It's just an Iguana. Take it out of the palace! Guards! Make sure he goes out of the palace with that animal. Out! You will have to explain to me what your enterprise in this palace is. What is your business here, Ogeji? As you can see, I prefer for the king to make him happy. Around nonsense. Now you listen to me. I don't want to see you in this palace again. Do you understand? As long as it is on the instance of the king, I will oblige. I can't deny the request of my king. Are you daring me, Ogechi? Huh? As the betrothed of the king, I warn you never to set your foot in this palace again. I am no longer comfortable with your closeness to my lord, my lion. Now, if you dare me, if you dare me, he will pay with your life. It was Idika, my friend, the hunter, who brought Iguana for me. Iguana? That is a delicious meal. Delicious meat, my foot. When you came here, you noticed I had a heavy heart, right? You know the reason for that. And that is because you didn't seem to appreciate or even notice my presence. I was attacked in my dream by a crocodile. In fact, two, two, two horrible creatures. Anything that reminds me of that is an enemy, irrespective of who or what it is. Sister to leave this house. I expected you to return with more radiance and not wearing the face that looks like monkeys. How can my face be bright when that village loafer still comes around to sing and dance for my hero? But, but she's helping to make your king merry. Mother! Their closeness is beginning to threaten my bond with the king. I want her out of the way. I want her out of the way! Hey! Your bond with the king is not my maid. It was incompetent and hashed somewhere beyond the reach of man. And moreover, you are the daughter of great Agui. You don't chicken out from your prey. You have your powers, my daughter. Use it. <laughs> use your powers, my daughter. I will use it, man. <laughs> what would have led his majesty to this type of reaction? Is there any possibility I offended him before now?
the embarrassment was too much. It was just too much. But this is my childhood friend. I've known him for like ages. Something is not right. Something is definitely not right. Amaka, uh, wait, wait, wait. I want to tell you something. Because as it is, eh, I'm angry. I'm angry. Why are you angry? I don't know what that idiot Adaro is feeling like. Eh? Can you imagine? Threatening Oge never to be seen at the palace anymore. <laughs> Wait. I really do not understand this whole thing. Is Oge trying to say if the king calls that she will not answer because of her duvet's command? My dear. That appears to be the case now. How possible can that be? Akona. That girl is biting more than she can chew and swallow in this village, you know. Amaka, let me tell you something. If I am Oge, me Akona, if I am Oge, since the king loves what I do, I'll walk my way into his heart. Before she realizes, I'll be the queen of this land. Bia Akona, in Apuala, are you okay? Can you imagine what comes into your mind? It seems you've forgotten the tradition of this land. Okwaya? There is nothing wrong in, with what I said. You know, I was thinking you're Noma. But now I know you're mad. Since she doesn't realize the posi her position, someone that understands will take over. Okay. You want to be the queen? Yes. Okay. But well, stay here. I'm sure Oge must have gotten there and will be waiting for us. I'm leaving. Stay here and become the queen. Mm -hmm. I'm sent here. I want to be the queen! Oh, yeah. I went and gave uh, herbs and root to my customer. You are supposed to be at the palace performing for the king. Why is this true mystery? Palace? No. I don't want to die yet. Die? How do you mean? And who wants to kill you at the palace? I do it. The betrothed of the king threatened to kill me. If I as much as set foot on that palace ground anymore, I do. She feels the king has feelings for me. I do the daughter of Achara. Hey! Okay, Chico. Bia, Chico. Eh? You are my only eyes. You know, you are the only one left for me. Eh? Chico. Run for your dear life. Oh? Of course, Nene. I know. I, I cannot afford to lose you. Chico. I know. Let me run along. My friends are waiting for me. Eh. Yeah. I'm going to troubles the future queen of Omodo, that she stands here all alone this early morning brooding. Eberi, he won't understand. I have suffered in this community. Ha! Can you tell me what makes the lioness to quiver? Because I went to your house this morning and your mother does not know your whereabouts. So talk. 
Can you imagine? That empty thing they call Ogechi is having something to do with my lion. My king. Aduri, are you sure of what you are saying? What is the meaning of that question? Huh? How else should I be sure when she's now the delight of his heart? My presence doesn't matter to him anymore. But when she comes around, he, he, his mood brightens up. So, is that why she has been carrying herself around with the pomposity of a peacock? Well, I trust you. I know no one dares to mess with the tigress. <laughs> Barry, you know me. I am a tigress. We shall see. The morning sun is so refreshing and the breeze so inviting. I feel like going on a hunting game. But the yoke of royalty restrains me from all of that. This palace has been boring lately. That reminds me. Where is Ogechi the singer? She has not been here for some days now. I hope all is well. I, I, I don't know your majesty. But it might be because you've not sent for her. Sent for her? Yes, Your Majesty. I don't have to send for her. She's always come here every two days. That is what she has done ever since she took up this responsibility. Anyway, I'll see to that. What they want, a wicked world, a world. My friend, look who we have here. Ooh. The old stooge of our time that has refused to get married, not knowing all her mates are married. Mama Nuku! <laughs> I don't have time for scallywags like you. Please make way, let people fetch water. The people you call names are better than you are, old fool. And look who is talking. You think you're frolicking with the king will ascribe you nobility and honor? Hmm? Let me tell you. Your illicit enterprise at the palace has been exposed. And I am sure you know what awaits you. Gossip is the only companion of lazy old fools like you and your friend. What is haunting her is the evil shall her wicked mother has been committing. As for yes. I have my mom, which everybody knows, and will soon get married. I don't have time to bandy words with a village loafer like you. Make way, let me fetch water and leave. You all disgust me. And if we don't, what did you say? She just asked the question. And if we don't make way, what will you do? Give me key me. Watch and see. May your reign be long, my king. Hmm. You look splendid today. Fabulous. Me? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, my king. I am flattered. <laughs> May the gods bless this day. Why would you say that? Because you noticed me today. You even note how I look. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, my love. My day is blessed indeed. Don't I used to in the past? You know, anytime I'm in a good mood like today, I notice every single bit of your beauty. You are fabulous. That reminds me, have you seen Ogechi, my singer? That one? She must be somewhere gallivanting with her numerous male friends. Ogechi? Gallivant? <laughs> Since... We... Anyway, that's not my business. Mine is for her to come to the palace, sing her lovely songs and soothe my soul and earn her daily bread. Why will her matter interlude our sweet talk this moment? Why does she always pop up in times like this? I am sick and tired of her constant presence in this palace. What's the meaning of that? 
What is wrong with you? Why are you getting worked up? My king. Are you rushing to in this manner? Is everything all right? Idika, duty calls. You know I am the advisor to the royal lineage. The young king, whose father I served so well, I need to serve him too. So the king calls. Um, oh no, um, sorry for taking your time. You see, I had a disturbing experience with the king. And this has kept my heart palpitating. So I wish to seek your advice. What is it? Um, oh no. My trap caught an iguana, the monitor lizard as it is popularly called. And you know, this is a delicious meat. I felt it befits the king, my childhood friend, because I always take meat to him. Oh no, to my utmost shock, the king behaved as if I brought poison to him and embarrassed me publicly. And this, this has been hurting me because I can't make out anything from these incidents. Oh, Idika, ah, sorry about that. Ah, the king had a terrible dream the previous night about crocodiles hmm. that almost frightened life out of him. That is why, you see, the trauma of that experience may have made him behave the way he did. Oh. I should have known. This is my childhood friend. He couldn't have treated me that way without an obvious reason. Um, well, no, I would go back to the palace and apologize for inducing fear in him. Uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry. You think it's not necessary? Uh, not that it is not necessary, but um, I will tell him when I get to the palace. Yeah? Don't worry about that. I'm going to see him. Uh, I'll see you later. Thank you very much, Olu. Yes. <laughs> I extend my greetings to the king. Yes. Who knows the house of Ogechi, the palace singer? I do, Your Majesty. You do? Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, good. Now you run down to her place to find out if she's okay. If she's fine, tell her I said she should leave whatever she's doing and run down to the palace immediately. Okay, Your Majesty. I hope the Igwe is not angry with me yet. No, no. He just came out of his chambers, obviously not angry. Hmm. Then, where are you rushing off to? To fetch Ogechi, the palace singer. Hmm. That means the king has something troubling his heart. Run along, run along. Run along. I'll see him. Sorry, Your Majesty. I, I kept you waiting. I was mending the ban when the message came. Oh no, nothing has spoiled yet. You're still early. Do you know the reason I called you? No, Your Majesty. My betrothed. Your betrothed? What about her? She has become a notch too irritating. I think it's about time I put her in her place. I want to curb her excesses. Hmm. 
Your Majesty. Caution. You must exercise self-control. You see, self-control is a veritable ornament of royalty. Although she is your betrothed, she is also your subject. You must pamper her like a child. The child who has grown strong teeth to bite the mother's nipple must be ready for unguarded slaps. True, true, your highness. But you must also know that hot food is eaten with caution. Emotional matters are handled with dexterity. Your Highness, I must let you know that is, it is not an act of royalty for the king to break his vow. Oh no. How did you know that's where I was driving at? <laughs> Your Majesty, gray hairs are a seat of wisdom. The path you now tread have been taken by so many in the past. And we learn from experience. Exercise caution. Yes, Your Majesty. Caution. Presence is needed at the palace right away. Right away? Yes. As you can see, I'm set for the market. His Majesty ordered that you come with me immediately. <sighs> okay. You can return to the palace. Let me wait for my mother to come back home. Then I'll come. See, no subject flag the order of the king. And you know what punishment awaits me if I fail on my duty. My mother is not around. I will not take it lightly if I don't do what she asks me to do. Whose demand should be your priority? The king's or your mother's? Follow me. Quick. This way. of this land. Come, my daughter. Oh. Nee. I'm here, mother. Take it easy, me. Tell me why you called me, because my ears are itching to hear good news, and my blood is boiling. Yes, that is the spirit. I'm gonna warn you, man. That's what you are. The time has come. You don't have time to waste. Go and play your game well and rightly, so that you can possess that which rightfully belongs to you. Don't have my daughter. The daughter of the lion of this. I am going, mother. <laughs> Go yes, on, mother. Back. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. <laughs> Down. 
Don't you know how to work with a woman? We have to hurry before the majesty gets angry with me. Is that it? Maybe I should return home since my welfare is not important here. Yeah. You can never try it. Never. Dare me! Dare me and see if I won't go back home. Um, um, please, I'm sorry. I, I will slow down. After you. I thought you won't speak. Would you see what the problem is rather than stand here and suck like a baby? What's more embarrassing and childish than your illicit affair with Ben Reveller that you hide under the cloak of a singer? I beg your pardon. Deny it. Deny your immoral flirtation with that renegade of a girl. Ah! Guts! Make sure she doesn't step into this palace again until I say so. Hold it there. I will go. But my king, remember when you come begging. Anyway, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. What's the meaning of this are doing? It means your end has come. Didn't I warn you? Please, please, I don't have time for your trouble. I don't have anything to do with your man. I'm only carrying out my civic responsibility. Civic responsibility, my fruit. Why am I even negotiating with you? I want to see. Please, please allow me. Let him. Thank you. Young man. <laughs> why do you scream the name of your king in that manner? Because the wars has happened. The wars has happened in Ubu, Okay, no more. What has happened? <laughs> why beast has the body of Gechi? Which Ogechi? Ogechi the singer. How? Where? 
a body is by, by a bootman's close to their house. Guts! Let's go. Move it. Get my gun ready and come with your message. Yes, your Hey! Okay, let's go. I want you not to go, I want you not to go, but you wouldn't listen to me. Gods of our land. What kind of wild beast could have done this to her? A lion? A leopard or a tiger? It were none of the mentioned ones. This obviously looks like a crocodile attack. Crocodile? Yes. On land? There is no water anywhere around here. How could a crocodile have attacked her? I'm sorry, my king. This looks like a mysterious one. Because I've tried to trace the arms and the footprints everywhere, but it did not lead to anywhere. It was. It is very, very obvious that someone turned into this crocodile. Because when I came here, I saw more than one person's footprint. A human beast? Ika, what are you talking about? Well, I want her not to go. I want her not to come to the palace because she wouldn't listen. Is that something you're not telling me here? What happened to her? <laughs> my king, my lion, the love of my life, I beg of you, I had no hand in what happened in any form. Adure, what are you talking about? Did anyone accuse you? I don't know. I had a quarrel with him over her earlier today. So it will seem as if I am connected to her death, but I know nothing concerning it. I have no hand in it. No one will think of such. It is a mere coincidence. Adure, stop crying and go to your man who has been hurting. Go to him. Should I go to him? Yes. He needs you now. Thank you, no. Thank you. Fire is burning. My body is burning with fire. 
Okay, I'll go and call him. Eh? Please stop thinking of death, please. You should be thinking of how to live and avenge against death, death. Please. Eh? Because that's the only thing that will make her spirit rest. Yes. Eh? She's right. You have to avenge her death. Yes. I promise I'll go and call him, please. Stop crying. Oh? You have to avenge her death. I'll go and call him, please. Keep going. When I look at you, my heart beats with joy. Hey, name Oma. Oma Lichan name. Easy both name. What would I have done in this life without you? Mm -hmm. hey? Look at how you arranged the whole thing and it worked. Even the old know was almost scolding him, telling him to pay more attention to me. Oh. Hey! <laughs> I, your mother, holds the key to spiritual doors of every heart in this life. Mm -hmm. Mother, I have never been this happy in my entire life. <laughs> With Achara, the pillar that holds every house by your side. You cannot fail. This is just the beginning of good tidings for you, my beauty and my queen. Oh, my queen. Yes, mother. <laughs> uh -huh. Lest I forget. Do you know who even told him to hasten the process of our marriage really? so that I can move into the palace? Oh, oh may the gods be praised. He is a noble man. Mm -hmm. May the gods bless him. <laughs> my, <seen> anything. <laughs> my, my heart daughter. is beaming with so that. much excitement. <laughs> Your Majesty, don't you think it is dangerous for you to be out here all alone without your guards? Considering what happened today, you know, what danger can be more fearsome than that that ravages the heart of a hero? My reasoning has been impaired by what happened today. I have seen how unsafe my people are because of my inability to protect them. How dare you say such unfriendly things about yourself? Didn't you hear Ogechi's mother? She was right. Her daughter died on her way home from the palace. Who was to protect her? Who? Your Majesty, what happened was beyond human control. Even as a king, no one expects you to solve spiritual problems. No, is it actually spiritual? Yes. Now, now I can relate it to my dream. Same. Sorry, you know how anxious one can be in this kind of situation. Please. Uh, whatever. You should know you are with a lady and show how caring you are. Don't drag me more than my strength. I said I am sorry. Okay, I will move at your pace. But you have to increase your speed. My blood is boiling. Please. You shouldn't boil now. Please wait until you meet the killer of your sister. I'm sorry about what happened, my friend Idika. I was actually trying... Your Majesty. I should be the one saying sorry. I never knew you had such a terrible dream. It was Onu that told me everything. Yes, now that you know. And you are master in the affairs of the jungle. What do you think we should do to save our people? Your Majesty. What killed that lady is not a natural crocodile. I will make a movement to get to the root of this matter. But I will need a man to accompany me for this movement. Oh, we have so many able-bodied men in this land. Make your pick. Choose anyone. Point at anyone. 
Your Majesty, this is not a movement for all kinds of men. When I see the right man, I'll let you know. But meanwhile, we have to be on the watch. Because what killed the thing is in the thing. Son of Agowu, the <laughs> only monkey that leaps from tree to tree <laughs> without fearing the distance. Oh, more. Ojuku, Idika, the son of Akongo. Yes. The leopard that dares the hunter in the jungle. Mm. So you are still in this community. Yeah. Where else could I have abandoned my motherland to? Where have you been, my king's man? <sighs> my brother, the evil one plotted my death. And mm. I escaped to my maternal home. Mm. But the gruesome death of my younger sister has brought me back to face, to challenge that beast that has been tormenting this community. I heard, my brother. Blood, blood they say is thicker than water. Welcome, my brother. Thank you very much. You know, the gods have answered my prayer. I was just coming from the palace where we were discussing about this matter. I was to go to Iyakwa to get to the root of this matter. And the man is supposed to accompany me. Mm. Here comes the right man for the journey. <laughs> Ujuku, the monkey. My brother, I am very happy that there is still a man in this Umudo that first to understand that genuine love, genuine peace can only come through war. I was already on my way to the palace. You're on your way to the palace. Let's go back, bro. Ojuku, Ibika, the monkey. Ojuku, the monkey. My enemies are falling one after the other. And as many that will join league with them. <laughs> yes, so. I want them. But they all felt they were tigresses as well. That wild beast would have just devoured the remaining two. Which remaining two? Hakuna and Namaka, of course. Did I not tell you how they beat me the other day at the stream because of you? I heard it was a mysterious crocodile that killed her. Do you know anything about that? Eberi, what kind of silly question is that? What are you implying by asking me such a question? Sorry, I didn't mean any harm. It's just that rumors are beginning to rear up that you have something to do with her death. Here she goes again. Rumors, rumors, rumors. I hate rumor mongers. I detest them. And that is what you are. So if you know what is good for you, do not tell me anything about rumors anymore. Ha! Adure, come back now. You haven't gotten to that. Adure! What a world, a wicked world, a world. Your Majesty, like I said when I left the palace, that when I see the man that would accompany me for this journey, that I would let you know. As I was going and pondering, the gods brought a warrior my way 
a man you know very much, a son of the soil. And to cap it off, he is the elder brother to the deceased. Welcome back to the land, Ojuku. I wouldn't ask why you came back, Ojuku, because the issue at hand is an enormous one. It's been long you left this land, so I didn't know you have become this big. But I want to tell you that whatever it will take to hunt down the murderers of Ogechi, I will bear the cost. Your Majesty, you don't have to make promises to me to find the killers of my only sister. Even if it will cost me my life, I will get to the root of it. It is my obligation. She was murdered on account of me. She was killed after she had left my palace. Therefore, I will do what it takes to get to the root of this. Your Majesty, we will set out to Iyakwa to seek the services of our Bali, the Great Divya. I believe he will have answers for our quest. Good. Whatever you do, just know that you have the backings of the palace and the gods of the land. It's okay, Your Majesty. You may go now. Thank you, Your Majesty. Of this land, I swear you will not go scot free, Asha. Who is this renegade that buys you to my compound with a fear of God's sake? Look at the beast that feed on the innocent blood, standing here talking of God's sake. Hey, woman, do you have conscience? The blood of the innocent will hold you to your grave, you fool. Enough of that insult, you brainless woman. I don't know what I did to deserve these your worthless insults. I'll forgive you. I heard what happened to you. That alone is enough to make one mad. It is you and your entire generation of blood suckers that are mad. Let me tell you something. Ogechi is not dead. Because her spirit will torment you to your grave. And as for your desperate daughter, she will live all her life. Hey! That's an assurance. What thing is making me so care your life? You won't be lucky. What will you do? Out of my compact. What could be worse than what you have done? By killing my daughter, Chara. One thing I assure you that you will leave. To reap all that you have sold in the land of Umudo. There's an assurance. I seek to get out of my house. Get out of my company, you! What they want, how we can walk. I am not in the right mood for trouble. And don't think today will be like the other day that your friends combined efforts. Today, I think I just walk it go home. Eh? I am telling you. Anugum, you will beat me. Look at this idiot, you will beat me. Okay, try it. Try it! Try and see! Oh, you think you and your friend have succeeded by killing Nogechi, right? Your doom will soon come, you idiot. My friend, get out of my way. Amaka, did you push me? Yes, I did. Did you touch me? I just did, and what will you, you do? Did you touch me? Eh?
who touched the tigress tail. Can you believe it? That Ogechi's mother came here and rained abuses on me. What? Kedeboziano, where is her corpse? Do you expect me to do anything here? That would be an act of cowardice. Her time will soon come. How did she know? Is it the rumor that I heard that flies about in the village? Why are there so much rumors everywhere? Ignore the rumors, my daughter. The more people talk about you, your spiritual potency increases. Eh? Yes, my daughter. Mm. <laughs> Why are you full laughing now? Am I not getting it? You're getting it! You're getting it! You're trying! Okay, okay, why not try it again? Do it again! Ahu madeze Achalugo ayoma Stop it now! Ah, I want to do what you're doing! Continue, just go! Don't mind them! Don't mind them! Don't mind them! Okay! Ahu madeze Achalugo ayoma Please go over there and find out which of them has this wonderful voice. Tell her I want to see her immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. Hey! The king wants to see you. Me? Yes. Follow me. You have a wonderful voice. Thank you so much, my king. I was captivated by the melody of your songs, so I stopped. Um, this talent, is it inherited or you developed it? I don't understand your majesty. I mean, does any of your parents sing? Oh. Sorry that I didn't get it the first time. Well, none of them sings. I see. If you don't mind, I would like for you to come over to the palace later today and sing for me. <sighs> that would be an honor to me, Your Majesty, to sing and even dance for my king. Oh, you dance as well? Yes, Your Majesty. Actually, I'm the one that sings for the group. We just finished our dance rehearsal. This is lovely. In that case, I'd like for you to mobilize your friends, I mean your dancers, so you can come over to the palace tomorrow evening to sing for me and dance and entertain me. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. I shall be expecting you. Okay, Your Majesty.
I take my greatest delight in this world, in music. And that's exactly what you have done for me. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to put a smile on your face, Your Highness. <laughs> it's nothing. So what would you say if I asked you to come to the palace and sing for me regularly? <sighs> that would be an honor to me, Your Highness. <laughs> Then consider yourself employed. Your Highness. Yes. <laughs> Majesty. Why are you laughing in your sleep? Is it a daydream? No, no, I wasn't actually daydreaming. I was reflecting on my wonderful time with Ogechi the singer. Oh, yes, I know, that's how it will be. But you shouldn't let her death overbear you to this extent. No, you, you are a king and you must be on top of every situation. Yes or no, I will get a it. You better do. Your Highness. His mother's friend. Where are you going to this morning? My sister must be avenged. Yes. We yeah. all know that. Are you going to fight? I have a journey to undertake. The one? Talk to your mother. What kind of journey? Yeah. We told Mugali, they must have ears and they will hear everything we're saying. And the tree is also on this very ground. They can bear witness of what we're saying. Just calm down. I'll be back. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Yes, your majesty. Yes, I wish to go into the forest to ease off some tension. And I wish to go alone. No questions or objections. If anyone asks, tell them that's my decision. Yes, your, yes, your majesty. majesty. Take care of the palace. Yes, your majesty. You are the pride of the middle of his life. You shine at me. Then we whisper and then we shake and then we cry. The daughter of great as you cannot be the last. You will not talk. And the ladies all shall bow and drop and I Woo! His heart will melt in love for you. And his soul will constantly yearn for your love. Thank you, my sweet mother. Yes, my daughter. Queen of our coast. I have always known you mean well for me. Yes, my daughter. Go! For the king awaits your arrival. Go with pride. Go with dignity. The joy of the heart of the mother. Who? 
What a world, a wicked world, a world full of evil. What a world, a wicked world, a world full of evil. Men are evil. Your Majesty, where are you going to without your guards? Have you, have you heard of or seen such a thing? since you were a child? I chose to go to the back side of the village and ease off some tension in solitude. Hmm. How could you conceive such an idea? Your Majesty, things are not done that way. One or two of your guards should be with you at all times. Who knew I might be a child, but I'm old enough to take responsibility for my actions and decisions. I forbid them from coming with me, and that's final on this. Can I pass now? Your Highness, if that is your wish, who am I to restrain you? Thank you, my traditional Prime Minister and advisor. His Majesty. He went out. Why didn't you tell me when I passed? You didn't ask. And you did not respond to our greetings. Ha! Huh. What will your greetings add to my life? Huh? Now tell me. Where did he go to? He went to the forest for solitude. What? Why then are all of you here? Why didn't any of you go with him? Huh? How will you know when he's in trouble or in need of your services? How? No one can refute the order of the king, not even you. So solitude. Who is that that made you shed tears 
so that he will pay dearly for it. <laughs> Do everyone understand the stupid thing those lay about guys were saying? That my lord has gone into the forest. What for? <laughs> He has crossed the village stream. I can't reach him. But don't worry. When he comes back, I'll fortify you again. Oh? <laughs> up your face for your mother. My son, the future king of Umudo. My son, Mamo, writing up your face for your mother. Okay, let me do a special song for you. Isiyanyamilinegabiago. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot eat your food. Eat for me. Here is Popo. Just the poor. Okay? It's for your mother. Be happy, okay? Okay. 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 Mwame bena kwa kedie ne weginga kusia mwame bena kwa kedie ne weginga kusia mwame bena kwa kedoye na chogo kukancho baya mwame bena kwa isianya mili nega byako You like this song my yes. We have to find a place to rest, eat. We are getting close to Yawa. And we need to gather enough strength to ascend the hill before Yawa. 
On the contrary, I suggest we continue our journey. At least let's stress at once when we must have accomplished our mission. You see, Ojuku, my brother, hunters and warriors don't make straight movement. You sit, listen to nature, you hear what others don't. My brother, it's time not of a sense in this situation. You know, when you swim across the river so easy, it seems there is no level in swimming. Vigor doesn't equate wisdom, my brother. My brother, I'm happy I'm sharing your wealth of experience. Thank you very much. You will learn more, my friend. This way. Greetings, Your Royal Majesty, King of Umudo Kingdom. Young lady, where did you learn this song from? I was born a singer, Your Majesty. Singing is my greatest delight in life. Oh, are you from this land? Yes, Your Majesty. Our house is not far from here. Really? What is your name? Omalicha, Your Majesty. Omalicha. Let me not bug you with too many questions. Would you mind doing that song one more time for me? As many times as you want it, Your Majesty. As long as I breathe. Then go ahead. Mwame bezina kwa Kedi chorom ne gige nye gia Mwame bezina kwa Kwa miye ne we giwe kam kusia Ezi mwe bezina kwa Kwa mwenye na chogo kuka mchobaya Bikwe bezi na kwa Hichanya miri gina na abiago See, Adure, keeping silence will not help you in this situation. You will only end up hurting yourself. Tell me what the problem is. I could be of help. Iberi, can you imagine? That ever since that single girl died, the love of my life, my king is still raving with madness. How can you say that about your husband? What did you call him? Your husband, of course. Is he? Then if he is, why is he still obsessed with that girl? Why? He cannot be obsessed with the dead girl, Aduri. That is what your mind tells you. So free yourself and go possess your man. <gasps> May the gods of our land bless you, Eberi. You know, sometimes you talk sense. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> My mother must hear this. 
I'm going to possess my man. <laughs> How could none of you have even tried to follow him from a distance? Huh? I'm sure you know your civil and traditional duties to the community, not just to the king alone. You sure know what will happen to you. You sure know what will happen to you if the king does not return safe. Nothing will happen to a man the gods have crowned. As you can see, I went on a sojourn and I am back with the splendor of the sun. Hail and hearty. You are welcome, Thanks you. to the gods, you are back, sir. Why would you even think anything would happen to me in my kingdom? A young man full of energy and vigor. The gods led me on a sojourn, and I am glad they handed me what I looked for. Now I am back with the splendor of the sun. Your Majesty, I am still marveled at the kind of gods you possess. What will induce you to take this kind of risk and hang our hearts in mid-air? The gods, yes. The gods propelled me into this journey, and I am glad they handed me what I sought. Let everyone go back to their duty post. I need to get some rest. Tomorrow, we shall continue. I heard it all. Who could person be with such a wonderful voice? And where could she be? Wait, could that be the spirit of Ogechi singing? Look here, I'm really scared. Let's just go back, okay? Look at this one. We fear a lot. Let's take our part before we go. Uh-uh. You don't have to blame her if she's scared. The way Hogeshi was murdered by a mysterious beast is enough to induce fear in anyone. And a spirit may come seeking for vengeance. Who cared both of you? Let's just go back because I'm really, really scared right now, okay? Let me see your right hand. Come on, yeah. 
Attraction that he cannot resist you. <laughs> you are the pride of all maidens of this land. <laughs> hmm. The pride of the mother. Bali is not reputed for so much words. What my father handed over to me is what I live on. The crocodile is the only animal throughout the universe that sheds tears every minute of its life. The secret of the energy and mysteries of the crocodile is hidden in its tears. And to subdue it, you need the tears of a widow. Even a little drop on any substance. One more thing. No matter how strong or sharp the teeth of a crocodile, it does not cut a tree or crack a stone. For these two are the secret weapons of your victory. Now rise and leave my shrine. Have I never given? Have I never given? I think I want to put you through. Have I never given? God, I don't want to grow on it. You know, I see Grango Pujira no Bulibu. It's for your majesty. Greetings and no 
adanye no behold the gifts from the gods who suits my ailing soul omalecha welcome to the palace i do not need to ask you to sit down for you know what to do already <laughs> <laughs> Adu, my love. My king. Please come and share in the joy of your heart drop by listening to this melodious song. Sit down and let's have her entertain us. You can go ahead, my dear. <laughs> Iwani jaga, iwo mudo, ani jige kuro. Iwo yoko, oh iwo yoko. Iwo yoko, oh iwo yoko. Iwo yoko, oh iwo yoko. O mudo ni le sini bi iwo yoko. O mudo ni le sini bi iwo yoko. Mary Interesting. Hey! Idika! Is that wicked witch? Just ignore her. What? This is a trick. Let's go. <laughs> Abale, what is the meaning of this? I have come to confirm your readiness for the task ahead of you. And I have seen that you are truly prepared. I don't understand Ono. Does she not sing better than Ogechi? It is not in that light. Your Majesty, who is she? And where does she come from? Oh, okay. Um, her name is Omalisha, like you have heard. She's the daughter of one Mazi Irebu that lives by the stream side. That's all. She's just a beautiful girl gifted by the gods. Mazirebu. I have not heard of anybody with such a name from that area. But I'll find out who she is. Oh no. Don't you like her? Your Majesty, it is far from that from that. She is attractive. She is an embodiment of beauty. But, Your Majesty, 
There is something about her. There is something about her that... Well, let's leave that. Let us leave that. I will... I will be leaving now. But later, I will try to know who her parents are. <clears throat> I... Your Majesty. Stop right there! What is it? Shut your mouth, you little wretch! What gave you the impetus to come to the palace to sing for my king? I don't need your permission to come to the palace and sing to my king. Are you daring me, you kitten? Did you use your fans and crush? I mean, feast on the bastard. I said I tried, mother, but she turned into a big python and an anaconda. Don't you get it? Although I would have torn her into shreds if not that some humans were close. What one is the cow? See, Ada, as a queen, you're not supposed to be seen in this kind of mood in a place like this. Go home instead, since you don't want to tell me what the matter is. Iberi, can you imagine that my lord, the love of my life, my lion has brought another chicken to replace Ogechi? What is it with his majesty? Is it that he doesn't love you? It's not about that. This one is even a kid. My problem is that whenever they're together, I become nothing to him. Nothing else matters except the song. What is it with him and music? Like his umbilical cord was tied to music and buried. Don't worry. The gods that know you belong to his heart will take care of this one like Ogechi. He won't understand. This one is not easy. Yes, I mean, he has nothing with her, so the gods won't have grounds to strike. See, Ojuku, this task is not as easy as we had thought. I'm serious. Getting a widow's tears 
is not a simple task at all. It is not. You know, we had high hopes that getting it from Mulle will be the easiest thing because of Ogechi's death. But ever since we returned, she's been so happy. I, I can't understand. You know what is bothering me? No one knows what the vicious Ajala and her ambitious daughter will be planning. No one knows. But she has been so happy. Shh. Stop shouting. Do you want to attract the attention of me? But she has been so happy. She's supposed to be crying. Eh? I don't understand. Do you know what is bothering me? No one knows what the vicious Ajala and her ambitious daughter will be planning. <sighs> I heard the king has found another singer. So soon? That is risky. That singer must be endangering her life. Ojuku, um, we have to act fast. Very fast. We will not give Achala and her ambitious daughter the privilege of killing another soul in this kingdom. We will not. No two of them are very dubious. Then we must devise every means to make them a cry. That lies in your court. You are not doing enough effort. Hey! <laughs> Your Majesty. Hello. Thank you for the drink. Mm -hmm. uh, as for what I went for, there is no one around that vicinity that bears that name, Iroebu. What are you telling me, you know? Your Majesty, that little girl might not be telling you the truth. What would she gain by lying to me about her parents? You see, when you told me, I knew there was no one around that area that bears that name. The only Mazi Iruebu I can remember was Akwando's father. Akwando? Uh, Who is Akwando? Oh. Sorry, your mother, your maternal grandfather, he was also Mazi Iruebu. But presently, in that area, there is no one that bears that name. Anyways, um, her parentage is of no importance. What matters to me is that she comes to the palace and gives me joy. That is all I care about. Mm. Your Majesty, your wish is my command. Uh, <clears throat> ah, mm. Hey, Igwe, Banaba. Thank you, no. Let me go. May the gods be with you. Mm. I think I need some rest.
The pride of her mother. It is time to go and consolidate your position as the future queen of Umudo. Uh -huh. Go to him again. Mother, I'm tired of his constant embarrassment. Let me not hear such from you anymore. Your marriage with the king is bounded by the gods. No one can stop it. But why can't the gods make him to get attached to me? It is your responsibility and not theirs. That is why you must go now. The easiest way to a man's heart is through his belly. I've prepared everything. Just go to the shrine, get some water there and cook for him. After eating the food, he'll be tied to you forever. Your meal is served, the line of my life. The man that makes my heart to throb. Come, let's go eat. Thank you very much, the love of my life. <laughs> I prepared your favorite bitter leaf soup with snails. Oh, my favorite. I can't wait. I'm already salivating. <laughs> oh, Malicha. Uh, Adure, please, um, let's take a little time to listen to her sing before the meal. But my king, you just said you're already salivating. The food will get cold. I know, but she sings so very well. You just sit down and listen, you will enjoy it. Fetching water, and then we heard your voice and decided to come see who's been singing. Your voice is beautiful. Yeah. We love your voice. Thank you. You can sing very well. Thank you, my friends. Your friends? 
Is that how you make friends? If you are not my enemy, then you are my friend. Are you the new singer of the king that we heard of? Yes. You? <laughs> Be careful of that job and the palace. Why did you say that? Um, my dear, the truth is, there's a beast in the palace that kills everyone that comes to sing for the king, so you just have to be careful. No beast can stop me from singing for my king. Don't think it's a joke. She killed people greater and older than you are. Maybe she can spare you because you are younger. Thank you. But don't fear for me. I can handle this. Okay, if you say so. Okay. Um, so we're friends now. <laughs> what a world, a wicked world, a world full of evil. What a world, a wicked world, a world full of evil. Who has the gods to make the daughter of great Agui shed tears in vain? Nay, nee. I'm beginning to doubt the efficacy of, of, of all this you're doing. Why is it that nothing seems to work or have effect on him? What is it this time around? Can you imagine that he stood with excitement to go eat the food? When that part one girl appeared from nowhere and he opted for the song, leaving the food. Is that why the daughter of Great Agri calls herself shedding tears like men mortals? And is that why you doubt the potency of Acharu? The pillar that holds the pot. <laughs> sent for me. Yes, I did. It's about Adure. Her excesses are becoming too much. Her nagging and overbearing tendencies. Adure, your majesty, what is the problem? How could she pick on every single singer that comes to this palace? Even the little Omalita. What does she take me for? <sighs> your majesty, I advise you to calm down. Just take it easy. Adure is not actually a bad person. You see, what she needs is your attention. Any little thing that tends to take away your attention from her gets her jealous. What is there to get jealous about in a little girl like Omalita? Talk to her, else I will cancel this engagement which I still believe what was manipulated by her mother's past. Your Majesty, no, you cannot call off the, 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 the engagement. The gods have sealed it. Anyway, I will talk to her. You had better, else the gods will come and marry her themselves. Talk to her. How can I live with someone whose sole aim is to jeopardize everything I cherish? How? Your Majesty, she will change. But I also advise you to treat her like your betrothed, which she really is.
Welcome, Achara. I was expecting you. Who are you? And what is your mission? And how on earth do you know my name? Who am I is not important. But I am here to give the king what his soul desires, which you are denying them because of your ambitions. Hey! Whoever you are, you should know that Ashera does not ban the walls with fools. As for that of your mission, it comes to an end. For I will destroy you. <laughs> I look at you and laugh. I wonder what give you mere mortals the impetus and arrogance. <laughs> I want to know how she's faring and if there is anything I can help her do. Really? Is that how much you've been caring for her? Hmm, that's lovely. You do think I'm you that I don't know how to care for women? My God, where are you getting this whole idea that I don't care for women? Oh, <laughs> because of what happened the other day. Ina was in a haste, eh? That is, by the way, let's not argue about that, eh? I'm going to somewhere. I'll see you some other time, eh? You see? Same thing I'm saying. Always on the move, business-minded. I will even know when a woman needs attention or care. My good friend. Talu. Hello. You went to the stream alone. What about your friend? Oh, do you know this is not the usual time for stream? I have someone I want to help with water. That's why I came to the stream now. That's very good of you. My name is Omalicha. And you are? I'm Amaka. Um, Omalicha, how was your singing in the palace today? Very well. Amaka, I want to ask you something. What's that you want me to do for you? How do you know about that little girl? I have told you what I know will happen if you play your part well. I'm not going to do it. 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 i do it. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Um, what's that your name again? Amaka, Your Majesty. Amaka. I hope there's no problem. Not at all, Your Majesty. I was just passing and told it twice to come see how Your Majesty is faring. <laughs> and to know if he has gotten another singer since the cold hand of death has taken our friend Ugechi away from us. That's very possible. Or should I recommend another? You're a wonderful person. 
your king is doing just fine. As for a replacement for Ogechi, the gods have been gracious. They have sent me another wonderful singer by the name Omalicha. Omalicha? Do you know her? That's awesome. Yes, Your Majesty, I know her. Oh. <laughs> she is even the one I am to suggest to my king. Ah, <laughs> the gods be praised. Anyway, I, I thank you for your concern. Thank you very much. I would also like to see you later. There's something I want us to talk about. And then for you to also organize your dancers for me. Anything Your Majesty wishes, we are at your service. Um, your Majesty, I will have to take my leave now. Oh, that's good. Thank you. All right. told you to wipe your tears. Yeah? The engagement between you and the king was sealed by the gods and endorsed by his late father. No one can change it. Nay, I even heard he's seen other maidens. Hey, it is an evil thing to accuse the king of what you are not sure of. It can lead to the cancellation and termination of the engagement if you accuse falsely. What if I'm right? The gods will vindicate you. Hadure, you can be assured that I, Ono, will stand by what the gods have ordained. I will speak with his majesty. Hmm? Stop crying. Nay, please do. Please do, because I've never seen this kind of ill treatment before. Don't worry. You have my support on this one. You see, on this one, I support you. Yeah? Thank you, Nay. Stop crying. <laughs> I should take my leave now. Good night. May the gods go. I would rather we don't talk about that. As for the name you just called me, only one person calls me by that name. Let's talk about it. If you want me to continue coming to sing for you. Childhood habits, right? How did you know that? Just guessed. This is beyond guessing. You sound so bold and more intelligent than your age. Who are you? I am just a singer that is gifted by the gods to suit ailing and bleeding souls. I am not here for this reward, but I am here to fulfill my obligations to my land. Thank you, your royal majesty.
Why are you why are you so glad? Ojuku, my son, should I not? Eh? That you went to Yawa and came back alive. Is that not enough for me to be glad? Eh? Mm. I thought contrary. Remember that your only daughter Ogechi is dead. Is enough to make you cry. Ojuku, what do you mean by that? I mean that remembering that your daughter Ogechi is dead. It's enough to make you cry. You should be crying, not singing. Ojuku, what kind of a son are you? What kind of a son are you, Ojuku? The entire village wants me to be happy. And you are here, wishing me to mourn. No, that is not what I mean. Eh? Remembering that your only daughter, Ogechi, is dead. It's enough to make you cry. It's enough to make you shed tears. It's enough to make you cry. You should be crying, not singing. Yes. No, you should be crying. Cry. No, cry, cry. Be crying. Your daughter is dead. Be crying. Cry. Oh, that reminds me. Did you know I almost forgot? Um, Akuna, the king said we'll be coming to perform at the palace soon. <laughs> yes, and then he also said, um, okay, forget about that one. Which one? Say it. It's not important. Ha! Huh? Amaka, it is. Ha! Huh? You think I don't know you've been nursing some feelings for the king? <laughs> anyway, I don't have any problem with that. Hmm? Just make sure Adure doesn't find out. I don't want to lose you. See, 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 Akona. Honestly, I don't know what you're talking about. Look at my armpit, though. Look at my armpit. I don't have any hair in my armpit. There is hair in it. Aji, dear. Huh? Maka, why are you denying the obvious? Eh? Is it not a thing of pride? After all, I don't even know what he's doing with that beast, Adure. Eh? When you are here, hmm, Akona. Yes. Akuna! That's my name. Akuna! Akuna! How many times did I call you? That's Akuna! That's my name. That's my name. Grasses have ears, oh. I, know. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. <laughs> this is a serious matter. What do we do next? Because I'm getting confused. Edika. I feel we should get another widow elsewhere before it gets late. How could we possibly do that? How? You know, we are not to let people know what is going on because they could easily accuse us of ritual act or witchcraft. Everything we are doing, we have to hide it. Hmm. You see, Dika, when Abale mentioned about this widow's tears, I thought it was going to be the commonest thing to get. What you've seen is not common. See? You have to make Nick cry. You have to try harder. You know her weakness. Exploit her weakness and make her cry. Idika, do you know how hard I've tried to make her cry? I have tried harder. I feel we should go back to Abale and ask him to help. Ojuku, did you just hear yourself? We should go back to Iyakwa. Yes. Iyakwa is the only solution. So, so what is for now? Iyakwa. is the solution.
Abarawan. To what do I owe this great visit by the priestess? Ono wo gwejofo. You are one of the wisest men in Umudu. The longest serving advisor to the royal lineage. I greet you. I greet you too in return, my priestess. You know the bond between my daughter and the king. Of course. You know the position of the gods in this matter. You are the advisor to the young king. Advise him rightly. Let not youthful exuberance bring calamity upon him and the entire Umudo. It will be disastrous. My priestess, I am doing my job. Like I told your daughter, who was here before now, he is hers. But as a man, advise her. Advise her not to overreact in, you know, little things. You are there for her. And the gods are wise. I didn't know she has been here. I have heard you. Do not as an elder let the gods give birth in his theater. Mbanono. I go man or say a woman or no I must take my leave. That's all right. No, sir. God is here. Hmm. Right. That you've gotten over Ogechi's death. Here you are, drawn back to work again. My children, I said, I'm fine. I am all right. Me, you can't be all right. Bearing your chin in your palms, lost in thought. Eh? Please, no. Tell us what the problem is. Hmm? I am okay. Hmm? Um, thank you so much for the water. Yeah. And for your support. Since I lost your friend, uh, uh, <laughs> don't just start. Don't start. Ah, what's that? See, Akuna will stay back with you to do all the domestic chores while I rush off to somewhere to attend to something. But before you know it, I'll be back. I don't want to see. And where are you rushing off? To? Eh? You saw hiding things from me, silly girl. Just attend to me before you know it, I'll be back. I, mean, I don't want to see you like this when I come back. Please stay with her. Where are you going to? I'm coming. Good Amaka, hmm? my daughter, how are you? I'm fine. Where are you coming from with such excitement? Nay, I'm coming from the palace. Oh, the palace? I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem. His Majesty sent for me. His Majesty sent for you? Yes, and I. Nay. Is there any problem with that? Uh, uh, no, not at all. Uh, but Amaka, hmm? are you aware that there is someone betrothed to him? Oh, we no one the beloga. I know. Good, good. That is what I want you to be aware of. Eh? Ki we we pake we no fe. You know go.
Your Majesty, I had to excuse the guards because I wanted us to talk in private. Your Majesty, what is going on between you and that young lady? I don't understand you, no. Which young lady are you referring to? Amaka, the daughter of Mbemena. I saw her leaving this palace when I was coming down here. And she confirmed to me that you sent for her. Oh no, am I by law forbidden from seeing anybody in this community so long as there is nothing immoral going on? No, oh no, I didn't say that, no. It's just that someone is betrothed to you. And very soon, tongues will wag. Let tongues wag! Should I die because I'm betrothed to some bunch of trouble called Adure? I have said it severally, that I didn't know what pushed my father into this bond. I am no longer interested. Your Majesty. Take it easy. Eh? Recoil. Let the voice of wisdom lead you. What wisdom is there in allowing oneself entangled with thorns? I suspect strongly that her mother, Achara, used her evil powers to co-opt my father into believing that the gods have a hand in this bond. I say I am no longer interested. I want to be left alone. Your Majesty, take it easy now. See, matters of the gods are handled with utmost care and wisdom. I would suggest that you allow what the gods have ordained to be. Leave me and the gods alone. I can handle them. What is going on here? You have eyes and you can see. Eh? Or is that a way of telling us well done? You might be right, but my stomach is rumbling. Listen to yourself. Eh? I've been telling you that you don't know how to handle women. Don't you know as the man of the house, you are supposed to look for axe and start splitting the firewood as we cook. Eh? At least to make up for your not being around. That is how real men behave. the way I'm serving you as if I'm your maid. Do you know why? It's because I'm your guest. See who is the guest? <laughs> is today the first, second, or even the tenth day you are visiting me? Hmm? This is just a bribe for you to carry out an assignment for me. Carry out an assignment? Mm -hmm. What assignment? Bring your ear. So 
you can be this caring and soft. Hmm? Why then were you for me too busy to notice me? What were you expecting from me? I got the mysterious mother of my only surviving sibling. What else do you expect me to do? You know, I don't have time. I'm still on the matter. So I won't have time to talk. But you are still on the matter now. How then do you have time now? Hmm? I'll come now, you will. You know, I'm not much of a talker. But one thing I want you to know is that And you think I've not fallen for you too? Hmm? And I stayed with you all this while. Come and see me before my mother starts getting married. <laughs> hey, Omali Chen can sing very well. Honestly, yeah, you have a nice voice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, should I sing again? Yes, yes. please do. You, you have a nice voice. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> girl. Ah. Why did she do that? And why are the both of you laughing? My friend, forget about that stupid girl. She's just an idiot. She's the stooge of Aduri, the betrothed to the king. She and her friend are embodiment of idleness and trouble. Very useless girl. So, what is her name? Please don't marry her. Forget about that useless layabout. Eh? Continue with your song. Well, her name is Eberechi. Okay, so you sing now. Me? Yes, your turn. Hey, Barry, will you stop behaving like a child and tell me why you called me out here? At least you saw me doing something when you came. Ada, if I tell you what I saw today. What did you see? Stop wasting my time. Do you know that I saw Akuna and that her useless friend Amaka in league with that girl that sings for the king? I saw them by the stream singing and laughing. And as soon as they saw me coming, they started jeering at me. Is that it? What is wrong with that? Is that what you ask? So you see nothing wrong in their friendship? How is that my business? Huh? Listen, they can choose to be friends with mad people for all I care. But if any of them crosses my path, I will crush her. Period. Who said that Ogechi's friends are now fraternizing with our enemies, the Python? I confirmed it, mother. Because the Berichi saw them and told me. What is your request? Their closeness may instigate problem for us, and I don't like it. Stop them as fast as you can. You are the daughter of the great Agui. You have all the power. Do I have your permission to strike, mother? As long as you have proof that they are standing on your way. But don't abuse your powers. Amaka, I was on my way to your place. Good enough both of you are together. You have never visited my house for any reason. So why now? Good question. It has come to my notice that you have decided to join league with my enemy with the sole purpose of running me down in this village. <laughs> but I have to tell you, that it will not work. Who are you to tell us who to make friends with in this village? And who not to make friends with? Huh? Go and tell
how the island had told you that and both of you can't stop us. Imagine. Are you daring me? And what if we dare you? What will you do? I wasn't talking to you. Aha. Uh -huh. May it not be true what I'm hearing about you and the king. My lion. The love of my lion. If I find out that it is the truth, you will not leave to tell the story. It's a lie. There is no need going to fight to confirm my dear. It is true. What you heard is true. What will you do? Do you know you could be digging her grave with what you just said? Akuna, Akune, whatever they call you. You cannot do anything, you small crocodile. Oh. You think you can succeed in killing me just the way you killed Ogechi, right? My dear, in case you don't know. Your secret has been revealed. We now know who you are. <laughs> I think we should just go to the palace. Eh? Let's just go to the palace. No, 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 no. Palace is not just the best option now. Eh? Let's look for Ojuku and Edika. Yes. Ojuku and Edika. That's the best option. Eh. Eh. Adore. What is it? Why is your face like this? You are the problem. I want to know exactly what you're doing with that wretch called Amaka. And you walked all the way to me to ask me this stupid question? I demand an answer right now. I think I've had your rubbish up to my neck. Now let me tell you. Go tell your mother that whatever binds you and I has been severed. As for the girl you call a wretch, watch as she turns out my bride. Really? You will hear from us pretty soon. But let me warn you, I will not be alive and watch any other woman have you. Instead, both of us will lose you. Be my guest. She said all these things to you. She even said more. Now I'm convinced that she has a hand in Ogechi's death. Yes, she actually said a lot. That means I will take off to Iyapa right away. Iyapa? Yes. That is the only place I can get the power to destroy her and her evil mother. That is a very risky journey to embark on. I know. You might not come back alive. Risk. Taking the name for people to be free. Or do you rather want her to kill the entire community before something can be done? I will beg my friend. Lebechi dead me? Yes, mother. He literally struck hands with me and said you cannot do anything. What did you learn about our God? We believe. My daughter, look into my eyes. Open your mouth.
my daughter, go and destroy everything that stands in your way. Even the king. For that will make you even the final end. Go, my daughter. Russian has sent the village or after that palace. Ajala and her daughter, after Akona and Amaka's life, we must act fast. Please. So, what do you suggest we do now? I already told them to tell me that I've gone to Iyawa. Eh? That would definitely make her cry. So, get your things, let's rush to my house. Please. And don't forget this, Nation. You are talking with utmost certainty. What if you are wrong? See, you can see there is no time for all this question. Get your things. Let's just rush down, please. No, go the thing you are here. I was just on my way to Achara to warn her and her daughter to stay off my path, else I will banish both of them from this place. Achara and her daughter. Your Majesty, what has infuriated you so much to this point? Ah, this is an errand to be run by subjects, not by you. Can you imagine Adure? Adure came to my palace to warn me and threaten me that I should rather die than have another maiden be my wife. What? Yes. Did she utter such an abominable thing? Yes, she did. And that's why I'm going there to put a stop to her madness and excesses. Mm. Your Majesty, take it easy. I will handle it myself. I will handle it myself. You had better. Yes, I... I forgot to tell you that um, Idika and Ojuku have gone to Iyagwa to consult about the mysterious crocodile. Uh -huh. They did? Yes. What did Abali say about that? They haven't given me feedback. They are still on it. <sighs> okay. Just relax. Go back in. I will go see her myself. You had better. I came. I heard Ujuku has gone to Yawa. And, and this, this is risky. There is every possibility he might not return alive. No. No. Hey. Ujuku is very stubborn. No. He's very, very stubborn. No. I love him too. I wish you would stay so free. 
para eso. Go, go, go. Have you gotten it? I come on the instant of the king, his majesty. What for? It is about his betrothed, her attitude towards him. I, I, I can't... I... Didn't he tell you that he has called off the engagement and is bringing that renegade girl, Amaka, as a bride? My priestess, I know no such thing. How dare you? How dare you lie to me? Mwa, no. I can't lie to you. Hey, what's the meaning of this? No, no, no. If I go in nowhere, I would have killed you. <laughs> but I'll spare your life. Because you have been on my side all this time. And because I still need you to actualize me. You won't be able to say what is such. You have seen my real form. What do we do for you not to reveal my real identity? Kathleen, I will not expose you. We've come a long way. You can't do it to me. I won't expose you. And then you're bleeding. You're bleeding. That's not your business, you weak mother. All for this kind of things. What did she say? <laughs> what kind of joke is this? My king, that single girl of yours is the crocodile. 
I'm so happy, my friend, the very cheap. What did you just say? The truth, my thing. The truth. She even attacked me. Look at the truth she gave to me. I go face you, pathetic liar. We saw you talk to a puppy down. Yes, people, we saw her. She so is the broken here. guy. So you're here, you rat. Your game is up. You vicious viper. Get! It is your days that are over! I will be chi O bigi de reju I gachanyo O bigi de reju I will be chi O bigi de reju O kedima O bigi de reju Igwe lebechi obigi dereju igachi anyo obigi de Have you come to your doom? You and vicious, brainless creatures. It is the end of your wicked maneuver that we have come to bring. You ruthless, worthless, heartless, and shameless witch. How dare you call me names? You fools. You are a fool. Because there's no time to stand where we are. Let's shoot up! Ah!
Your Majesty. Hey. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Eh? Huh? Oh, Malicha. You? Yes, Your Majesty. I came for the sole purpose to save my king and my son from the wickedness of Achara. And to liberate this land from our witchcraft. Hey! Uh -huh. The king. I said it. Your son. Uh -huh. Who are you? I. I am Lola Hakwando. Hey! hey! I said it. Uh -huh. There was something about her. That was killed. By that witch just because. Of ambition to be the queen of this land. Hey! Igwe, I told you. I said it. She manipulated all the deaths in the palace <laughs> just for her to achieve her dream. Hey, what? Nemi. Eh? Nemi. Lolo. Hey! Mama! Can you? Hey, <laughs> Where are you both coming from? Your Majesty. We've gone to kill that evil witch. That ruthless, heartless witch, Atara. That masquerades as priestess. We've gone to kill her. That's very good. What happened? She's no more. She's dead. Oh, good. Yeah! <laughs> Ife 
Adi kwe gune meze Umudo noze kwa nojo Uboda nye noze nojo Ogini neme Abu kwa nogini kanini Hapu anji biko nuka imbi Kwa nyoto abu gini kaimere Onyoto nana kwa nahu Aruru anajoka Ebu zinanye hapu anji kaimbi Aka anji diyota Ogu mana ona nanama Ogogo na nanogo Wanyojo Mburi kuruki ga warokwa Ebi mankegi ima inko nyozo Eyi metere ga biara goa Unyarura na kusi Arura na nodi ima Wanyojo Rapu ndi banyi kakurume Wanyojo Rapu ndi banyi kazurike Mburi kuruki nga wawa Makai yojo adima Mburi kuruki nga wawa Makaru rana nodima Iyo jo adi imba Iyo jo, iyo jo Iyo jo adi Iyo jo ni menu bodani Iyo jo adi imba Ife di kwe gune meze Iyo jo adi imba Umudo noze kwa nojo Iyo jo adi imba Obodani noze nojo Iyo jo adi imba Ogini neme Abu kwa nugini kanyini Hapu anji biko nuka imbi Kwa nyoto abu gini kaimere Unyoto nana kwa nahu Aruru anajoka Ebu zinanye hapu anji kaimbi Akanyi diyota Ogu mana ona nanama Ogu mana ona nanama